Good morning. Today I'd like to talk to you about the uh, map tools that are available within the Map Genius. To access the tools, you click on this tools icon right here. There are four tools available layers, bookmark, measure, and multi view. We'll begin with layers. Now, under layers, all the layers that are available are right here. So, for example, if you want to see the zoning map layer, check that box and it will draw it on the map. Let's give it a few seconds. While we're waiting, I'll show you this is a transparency slider. This allows you to change the transparency of the layer. So, for example, you could take this to 100% or down to nothing. And another feature is it lets you see one category of zoning, for example. So let me scroll down. I scroll using the uh, scroll, scroll wheel of my mouse. And there's also municipal zoning, as you can see on the map. So let me uh, turn municipal zoning off. And I also want to turn off the uh, city limit boundaries. So let me go scroll up. And that would be under base map. So I'll toggle that off. Okay, minimize that. And back to zoning. So I wanted to show all the agriculture in the county. And to do that, I will check off the uh, subcategory, Lutcher County Zoning. Uh, maximize this, this again. And I'll check on agriculture. And there you go. It draws only the agriculture on the map. So let me turn this back on. Turn municipal zoning back on. And turn zoning back off. So we also have future land use. And there's your urban cluster, black line, red line is urban service area. Um, we also have all the municipal uh, land use in here. So if you wanted to just see the uh, urban cluster, you could just check all these boxes off. And there's the urban cluster. And we can make the transparency lighter, darker. All right, let me turn it back on. Okay, you got FEMA flood zones, you got topography, political districts, public schools, and it's the same thing um, for elementary schools. Check it on, draws it on the map. Here's your legend. Now, under base map, we have various options for coloring the uh, municipal boundaries. So, for example, we could turn this multicolor uh, symbol symbology on and change the transparency and maybe we want to add a boundary to it okay all right let me turn that off and lastly we have google traffic in here check this box here There you go. Let me turn that off. All right, the next uh, tool is bookmark. So what bookmark allows you to do is to bookmark the extent, the zoom level of the map. So for example, let me zoom in. Let's just say I'm researching properties in this area, and I want to be able to come back to this this area. So all I need to do, click add bookmark and give it a name. And if I went back to the whole county, say I came back, closed map genies, came back in the morning, uh, click area one, and it takes you right back to where you were. Now these 
bookmarks are stored in your cookies in your browser. So as long as you do not delete your cookies, these will remain here. All right, let's close that. Now, the next one is measure. You can uh, get area distance by either drawing freehand or clicking points. So for example, if you draw freehand, and the area is 319 acres. This works great for your mobile phone or tablet. You can draw with your finger. Uh, next, you click by points. Let's do area. And just double click to close it. And that's 66 acres. Uh, freehand distance. Go crazy with this to 20,000 feet and you get the idea. All right, let's close that. Now the last one here is multi-view which syncs Google Street View with Microsoft's Bing oblique aerials. Now we need to pick a parcel to do this. Let's pick a let's pick the uh, queen of peace. All right, now what's going to happen? As you can see, it switched to the property tab. That's because every time you pick a parcel or search for one, it'll open this tab because that's where all the information, most of the information is for your parcel. So let us go back to the tools. And what it's going to do is going to take the center point of this parcel and send this. Let's open this up. All right, so here we're looking south, and on Google we're looking south. So let's say we want to look north. So we could just rotate this. Give it a few seconds. And here's the church. Here's the drive here, right here. And here's the front of the church. So it gives you a nice uh, way to look at it. And those are the tools currently available on the Map Genius. In future ver versions, we will have a print tool and we will have a, a buffering tool for doing mailing lists. Uh, thank you for listening.